This is Hong Kong's first brand new metro line in a decade after the opening of the Disneyland Resort line in 2005. The South Island line is about 7 kilometers long. It runs from South Horizons to Admiralty, passing through the Ocean Park and two other stops in between. Hong Kong residents and railway enthusiasts flock to the station as early as 5 a.m. in the morning to be the first passengers on board the new line. I'm so excited to be on the first train of this line. It brings much convenience. I no longer need to suffer the tunnel traffic and go to work faster. And it's much easier to get to the ocean park now. I've been anticipating this new line for long. Today I got up early to try this new train and go around on my own. This line is known as medium capacity line with 10 twins of three carriages each running on it. This is Hong Kong's third driverless metro line after the Hong Kong Airport Express and the Disneyland Resort line. And what is worth noting is that these are the first self-driving metro trains that are entirely made in China. The core technology and the carriages were developed and produced by China Railway Rolling Stock Corporation, or CRRC. There is no driver on board. The vehicle control center monitors and controls the carriages through a closed-circuit television system. The train is totally automatic. The train doors, platform screen doors, and the running of the train, as well as its cleaning, are all automated. So we need very few staff on board. We do have two control panels on each end of the trains that can be manually activated in extreme cases. The new line is expected to serve 170,000 people a day and through this extended interchange at Admiralty Station is linked to the rest of the city's MTR network, making daily commutes easier and faster. Now that's CCTV, Hong Kong.